just tell us what really can we expect from the Zelensky Biden meeting in particular and apart from the measures being taken by the Biden administration what do you think is the larger message that Western powers would seek to send out to Putin from the platform of the G7 summit and do you believe that they're on the same page on this issue uh, thank you Nea for uh, having me in your show uh, you see the whole uh, G7 summit in uh, in Fasano Resort in Italy. This is the ultra lux resort, which is patronized by the likes of Madonna and Ivanka Trump, secluded, full of olive trees, is to create an atmosphere of uh, peace uh, where, uh, and you know, world's top leaders, the, uh, the leaders of the world's wealthiest countries uh, are, are here. And Biden is already here and Zelensky is already here. And in fact, you know, this whole summit is dominated by uh, you know, Russia-Ukraine war, that what should be done? Because there is an overwhelming impression that after two years, uh, if you look at it realistically, uh, Putin seems to have, uh, you know, kind of managed to thwart the Western uh, diplomatic offensive uh, against uh, him and is still afloat. Uh, I think the bigger, and, and, and this is what the meeting will focus on, what to do. Uh, in these circumstances. Uh, so one of the big proposals which will be thrust out here is this controversial proposal of, uh, you know, using uh, the big money, you know, billions of dollars of Russian money lying in uh, banks from the G7 countries to, to provide uh, at least $50 billion loan to support Ukraine. Now, this is uh, not so simple as it uh, uh, appears uh, there is uh, there are legalities involved. There are also differences among uh, G7 leaders. Uh, so this will be the big big thing coming out, and we'll come to know in a few hours' time. Now you know when we talk about the big masses coming from uh, the 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 Puglia summit, uh, it, it, Italy G7 summit would be to put it would be that the the US is not going to give up. The West is going to not give up and will hold Putin to account. So in a way, this is, if you look at it on one hand, this is a G7 gang up. Depends on which, maybe this is not the politically correct expression, but the G7 bonding together, banding together uh, in one uh, last, uh, one, one, one concerted message to uh, the strong man, Vladimir Putin, that, uh, you know, this cannot go on. Uh, and, and, and you know you got to uh, there, there got to be some uh, uh, concrete uh, effort that you got to come to the negotiating table. And you know, in fact, immediately after the the G7 summit in Italy, you have the big peace conference in Ukraine. So the idea is to use the might of all G7 countries, and there are at least leaders of seven. I think around ten countries, emerging economies are also there. Ideas to bring them to, to uh, together to forge a consensus, uh, which uh, Putin would do, uh, Putin uh, would find hard to ignore. Uh, uh, and of course, to the message to Zelensky would be that the West uh, firmly stands behind him.